All right, so before I show you the color tones, I thought it would be interesting if I would just show you one more time this freaky amazing detail technique on this image. So yeah, because the, the reason why I really want to show you this is that although I'm using here the exact same graffiti background, that's also a graffiti background that I downloaded from Squeeju, which is this subscription service for photographers. And this is a, yeah, this is the kind of edit that I did just as we did it before for a woman. And now in comparison, this is obviously the very gritty and illustrative look that we applied for our male model here. So just to show you one more time the technique, but this time I also wanted to say, yeah, uh, if you want to apply it into an action or if you wanted to edit it into an action, then that's obviously also no problem. Then you don't have to remember all those steps every single time again. Also, <laughs> if you still think it's confusing, why do we sharpen an image with a blur filter? Just to keep in mind that this will happen every time when you invert a layer. So the moment you invert the layer, the sharpening tools will make the image soft and the blurry tools will sharpen the image. So in case you are confused, because I was really confused in the beginning, so that's the reason behind it. So let's just do a quickly an action so that one more time that makes it just a little bit easier for you in the future. And for that, I will just click here onto my little button and just call this freaky amazing details. And then I go here into my default actions and I say maybe red and then I go record. And from here, we obviously need these two new layers and we have to name them again because whoops, Otherwise, it can just happen that Photoshop will not run this action smoothly on your next image. So I just call this also freaky amazing details. And then we said we want to group this together and I just bring this down into this folder. And we want to change the blending mode from pass through into overlay. And when I open this up, then we want to say, okay, please invert this layer, command and I inverts. And then I bring this back into vivid light and now everything is back as it was before. So if I go in before and after, everything is exactly the same. So from here on, we went then into our blurry filter to sharpen the image and that's in our surface blur. And now we can just keep this radius. I mean, obviously you can always play with it. You could say, what would it be like if we just increase this even more? So I'm in, yeah, especially interested like in the details of her jacket or her belt. And then we just say, okay. All right. And now if we see the before and that's the after, then even on a female image, especially if you're shooting somewhere where it's also a little bit rough or a bit more edgy with kind of graffiti, or if the model has some kind of leather jacket or interesting hair, then that can also be very interesting on a, yeah, on a woman portrait. And if you are thinking this is not strong enough, you can always go ahead with Command and J, you will duplicate the effect or with a mask on it, you can say on the face, it's not very flattering and then you can mask this out. A similar option is also available in the Nick collection in the Color Effects Pro. There it's called the Detail Extractor. So if you want to check that out, that's definitely interesting as well.